Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. This week we'll have the spring cultural preview so you can get ready to enjoy all that Delmarva has to offer for the arts, heritage, and more. This Monday the 21st marks the vernal equinox, the beginning of spring. With the return of nice weather, there's no excuse for staying indoors. But that doesn't mean we should forget about all the great cultural events happening in the next few months. So let's get started. The evening of April 4th, Rody Joe's in Salisbury is having a paint night. This is becoming a popular event at many area pubs where you can create art over a few drinks with friends, guided by professional artists and party hosts. April 8th through the 10th is the Home Condo and Outdoor Show at the Ocean City Convention Center. Get ideas for fixing up your place and see their companion arts and craft show at the same time. That weekend is also the Eastern Shore Sea Glass and Coastal Arts Festival in St. Michael's with artisans from all over the East Coast. If you go, you can bring your sea glass and pottery shards to learn more about their value and get ideas for possible projects. April 15th is the opening of the Blooming Artist Youth Art Show at the Art Institute and Gallery in Salisbury, featuring the work of kids from around the Lower Delmarva region. April 15th through the 17th, don't miss Paint Snow Hill. More than 65 artists will attend this three-day plein air event. Come watch the artists at work all around town and see their finished masterpieces at the Sunday sale. April 22nd through the 24th is the 46th annual Ward World Championship at the Ocean City Convention Center. Artists from across the world convene for the most prestigious competition of contemporary wildfowl art. April 28th is the opening of the UMES Senior Show at the Mosley Gallery in Princess Anne. Graduates in the Department of Fine Arts Showcase Portfolio Pieces and the UMES Jazz Combo will perform. May 5th through the 8th, Springfest will be at the Inlet in Ocean City. Enjoy delicious food, live music, and great crafts. All through May, check out the exhibit Through the Looking Glass at the Gilbert Perry Center for the Arts in Middletown, Delaware. If you'd like to support the arts in Worcester County, put on your running shoes and sign up for the 5K Race for the Arts May 21st. That's also the day of the Downtown Festival of the Arts in Elkton with art exhibits, live music, and gourmet food truck vendors. If music is your thing, March 20th is the Mid-Atlantic Symphony Orchestra Spring Concert Mozart Fantasy at the Community Church in Ocean Pines. April 2nd, hear Victor Haskins Skeen at the historic Cokesbury Church in Onancock. The repertoire of this ensemble spans a wide range of fascinating musical traditions from around the world. Head to the Smyrna Opera House on April 10th for their classical piano series featuring University of Delaware piano majors. April 21st through the 24th at Salisbury University's Holloway Hall, hear Puccini's masterful comedic opera Gianni Schicci. And mark your calendars now for the Brewgrass Festival Sunday, June 12th at Bicentennial Park in downtown Milford. This event offers live bluegrass music, food, and beer tastings from local Delaware and Maryland breweries. Other live performances this spring include the 6th Annual Echoes and Visions Reading Series on April 1st at Warwick Community College in Salisbury. Guest poet Sue Ellen Thompson's work has been included in the Best American Poetry Series and has won a Pushcart Prize. April 15th and 18th, the Young Actors Guild presents Meredith Wilson's The Music Man, Jr. at the Smyrna Opera House. April 22nd and 23rd is a performance of the hilarious play Moon Over Buffalo by the community players at Warwick Community College's Guerrero Hall. My Fair Lady will be performed three weekends starting April 15th at the Prince Theater in Chestertown. April 29th and 30th is the Chesapeake Storytelling Festival held at Chesapeake College in Y Mills. Performers will keep you entertained with activities and musical entertainment designed for kids and adults alike. May 7th is a production of Alice in Wonderland at the Performing Arts Center in Ocean City. And May 16th, see the Broadway musical classic 42nd Street at the Civic Center in Salisbury. Spring breezes bring back those heritage cruises in April with a Kalmar nickel out of Lewis and on the Chesapeake on amazing vessels like the Sultana in Chestertown and the Skipjack Nathan in Cambridge. That's where you can take a free self-guided tour of the Chop Tank River Lighthouse. 
the Chincoteague Lighthouse also reopens for climbing at the end of March. If you're interested in our area's heritage, don't miss Dover Days, May 6th through the 8th. Demonstrations, storytellers, food, and more await festival goers who are often seen strolling the streets in Victorian or colonial attire. May 18th is International Museum Day. Many local museums, like the Ocean City Life Saving Station Museum, will be open for free. The weekend of May 21st is the Assateague People's 23rd Annual Drums on the Pocomook. They'll have music, food, dancing, and storytelling at Cypress Park in Pocomoke City. During spring, there are a number of festivals that help showcase our communities. April 9th is the Spring Fling in Cambridge with great food and live entertainment. April 15th and 16th is the Spring Bazaar in Denton, featuring all sorts of fun and exciting handmade items, art, jewelry, and more. April 23rd is Oxford Day, a family-oriented celebration of life in a small town on the eastern shore. Food is center stage for a number of events this spring. The 26th Annual Chocolate Festival at the Atlantic Sands Hotel in Rehoboth Beach is April 2nd. That's also the day of the Wine and Dine in downtown Newark, Delaware, featuring delights prepared by Newark's chefs. Several communities will hold a spring restaurant week, such as April 3rd through the 9th in Talbot County, April 17th through May 1st in Ocean City, and June 5th through the 12th in Rehoboth Beach. Other foodie events include Wine Fest, April 22nd through the 24th in St. Michael's, showcasing nearly 400 wines from around the globe. May 13th and 14th is the Somerset Strawberry Festival in Marion Station. They'll have lots of delicious strawberry dishes, pageants, a parade, local strawberry history, and more. And May 29th is the 24th Annual Soft Shell Spring Fair at Crisfield City Dock. They'll have local crafts, kids' activities, entertainment, and of course, soft shell crab sandwiches. Being outdoors really is what spring is all about, so we round out our spring preview with special events that focus on gardening and nature. April 2nd and 3rd is the 50th Annual Daffodil Show in Princess Anne at St. Andrew's Parish House, with blooms and arrangements on display of Somerset County's official flower, the daffodil. April 19th, get the jump on spring at the Carvel Research and Education Center in Georgetown, Delaware, with Master Gardeners Tracy Mulvaney and Susan Trone, who will present a workshop on how to start plants from seeds and cuttings. April 22nd through the 24th is the annual Delmarva Birding Weekend, with guided trips on land and area waters to see migrating warblers, owls, and shorebirds. Chestertown celebrates Earth Day April 23rd with children's activities and presentations on eco-friendly practices by conservation organizations and local green vendors. That's also the day of the annual Bug and Bud Festival on the Riverwalk in Milford. It's a celebration of Arbor Day and the Ladybug's designation as the State Bug of Delaware. They'll have a parade, a children's art show, and they'll be giving away free tree seedlings. April 30th is the Eastern Shore House and Garden Tour. It's part of an eight-day statewide event providing a unique opportunity to see unforgettable homes and gardens at the peak of Virginia's springtime color. And finally, May 28th is the Horseshoe Crab and Shorebird Festival at Milton Memorial Park, celebrating the annual spectacle of migrating horseshoe crabs and shorebirds flocking along Delaware Bay. Believe it or not, this preview is just a fraction of the events on our community calendar. Visit our website, delmarvaalmanac.com slash events, for details on all these events and many more. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. Be sure to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, and next week join us to learn more about our local culture and get connected to our natural wonders. If you'd like to become an underwriter for this program, visit delmarvaalmanac.com slash support. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters eatdrinkbyart.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. 
Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune. <laughs>